Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest, of excellent fancy, he had Tomatoes have had a long and varied history. Once wrongly believed to be poisonous, thankfully now they're more commonly eaten than thrown. Mmm, tomatoey. So tonight we're putting three brands of canned condensed tomato soups under the target spotlight. Home brand tomato soup, 415 grams for $1.49. Watties tomato soup, 420 grams at $2.26. And our most expensive Campbell's tomato soup, 420 grams for $2.35. I'll calculate how they stack up nutritionally and which one offers the best value for money. Meanwhile, our product check family, the Drews, will report back on taste. But first, some history. Eye of newt, tongue of dog. Soup has been around for as long as cooking itself. In fact, the name soup comes from the Germanic word sop, a piece of bread used to soak up a thick stew. Oh, delicious. But back to our products, and you'd expect a rich tomato soup to be packed full of tomatoes. So, which of our brands contains the most? According to information from the manufacturers, home brand ranks highest, containing 37.5 grams of tomato solids per can, while Campbell's has the least. Now, it turns out the humble tomato gets its colour from an antioxidant called lycopene, which may help prevent some types of cancer, in particular, prostate cancer. So we sent our soups to an independent lab to find out how much lycopene they contain. And with 9.1 milligrams of lycopene per 100 grams, Watties contains the most, while Home Brand has the least. But what about when it comes to the things in our diet we need to keep an eye on? How do our soups compare? Because the stated serve sizes on our soups vary and because we all have different appetites, we'll compare them using the standard nutritional values per 100 grams. First up, energy, and with 105 kilojoules per 100 grams, Watties has the least, while Home Brand packs the most with 162 kilojoules. Now, although canned soup is convenient, like lots of processed food, it can be guilty of containing high levels of salt. And when it comes to our soups, Home Brand contains the least sodium, with 350 milligrams per 100 grams, while Watties has the most. It's good to see all these levels are less than 400 milligrams per 100 grams, which is recommended for people watching their salt intake. If you want to be extra good, though, opt for a lower sodium option, like what is salt-reduced tomato soup, containing around half the sodium of their regular one. Now, sugar isn't something you'd expect to find in soup, but just like salt, it's used to enhance flavour. So perhaps it's not surprising to find with 3.4 grams per 100 grams, Watties has the least sugar, despite having the most sodium, and Home Brand has the most sugar, as well as the least sodium. Summing up on nutrition, therefore, Watties scores highest, while Home Brand ranks lowest. All our soups, however, are a healthy meal option, but here's some tips to give them a nutritional boost. Angela? Try using low-fat milk to reconstitute your soup for protein and calcium. Add whole grains and pulses for filling power. And veg up your soups using additional vegetables for added nutrients. And finally, avoid adding salt. Use herbs and spices for flavour instead. Let's get back to our soups, though, and which offers the best value for money. And at 36 cents per 100 grams, Home Brand works out cheapest, while Campbell's is the most expensive. But taste is crucial when it comes to the food we buy, so let's see which one our product check family prefers. Over to the Drews. The blue sample was definitely my favourite, had a really nice flavour to it, nice consistency, rich red colour to it with a hint of pepper. It had a nice smooth texture, nice colour and a perfect tomato taste. The green one had a nice thickness and a really good colour. It didn't taste like real tomatoes and it was too sugary. My least favourite was the red. It was very watery and didn't have any real flavour. It was very salty. Yuck. It tasted really fake and watery and it had a really unpleasant aftertaste. So Campbell's was by far our family's favourite brand of tomato soup. But combining this with results for tomato content, nutrition, lycopene count and value for money, despite running a close race, Watties is this week's winner with Campbell's coming last. Congratulations, Watties. The last company is Quick Solution Handyman, and there's two of them. They set up the ladder, and while one starts to clear the gutters, 
the other checks where the shelf in the laundry goes. Then our actress asks if he can wire in a new light fitting. That's the right answer, good stuff. On the roof, this man is overreaching and that roof is slippery. In the laundry, he's measuring the gap for the shelf and marking up the malamine. Then it's outside to cut it, but it's too big, so he marks it up to trim. It still won't fit. The corner of the wall isn't square, but the new shelf is. He needs to trim it more. So is it third time lucky? No, it's back for the fourth time. Now it's such a tight fit, he has to hammer it into place. Unbelievable, he's trimming it back for the fifth time. So much for measure twice, cut once. Finally, it fits and he wipes it down with our dishcloth. Outside and that slippery roof has got much worse and it isn't long until, yep, he slips. This man is very lucky not to have fallen off and all his mate can do is laugh. According to our expert, this classically illustrates what people do wrong on a roof. Best practice is to use mobile scaffolding or a ladder. Job done, he sweeps the deck and they leave. One handyman arrives back with the electrician. This one he puts his tools on the bed and then kills the power and turns on his work light. He removes the old fitting and throws it on our bed. Then the sparky clicks. He might be on target. Cheese! No, Cheese, bro! He drills a hole in the plaster mount and then it's in with the hook, which he tests by pulling on it. He attaches the light, but he's worried it's too low, so down it comes and he shortens it. Then it's back up the ladder, happy with the hang he tools up, and the conversation turns back to target. Luckily, these guys aren't mucking around. Getting a registered electrician in to fit the light was the right thing to do. After calibrating his voltmeter, he makes sure the fitting is safe, then they clean up test the light and celebrate before leaving. The handymen came back the next day to put a support under the bench. So let's take a look at their work. The light is slightly off centre, but well hung and importantly it goes. The shelf, although level, has gaps. These cuts are exposed and as soon as moisture enters, the timber will swell and deteriorate. A silicon sealant would prevent that and also hide the gaps. On the plus side, the gutters are well cleaned, albeit unsafely. So at $180, Quick Solution Handyman was the most expensive company in our trial, but that price did include an electrician. The guttering was cleaned, but he risked a nasty fall. The laundry shelf may not stand the test of time, and it looks pretty rough. And it's a pity the light wasn't hung in the centre. We've given Quick Solution Handyman 7 out of 10, and they respond. We have addressed issues of safety and further, we were asked to install a shelf, as it is a shelf, and we were not informed it would be used as a wet area, that's why there was no silicon used. So overall, we thought Howard the Handyman gave us the best value for money. If you're in the market for a handyman, check with family and friends. A good one can be hard to find, and reputation and skill speaks volumes when it comes to these tricky jobs. We'd like to clarify a statement from last week's show where we said cycling on the footpath any faster than walking speed would void your insurance. We were of course referring to shared paths. Cycling on a non-shared footpath is prohibited. Next week on Target, in parts of the country, it's illegal to get your body pierced if you're underage. So what is this man doing to our 15-year-old actor? Going to the World Cup is every soccer fan's dream, but this man almost didn't make it and says his travel agent is to blame. Also, which brand of powder fruit drink is best for you and your family? Target tests were done independently by SGS New Zealand Limited.